Hello everybody, thanks for checking in on today's video. I've got a cool one. Uh, this is the PPG Smoke headset. And uh, this is the version that was on sale for $99 instead of $550. So I thought I'd pick one up and roll the dice. As many of you know, or some of you may not know, uh, the PPG Smoke headset uh, touted itself to be the epitome of Bluetooth and active noise canceling and radio connectivity um, all ported into one with a high quality audio output and uh, basically the be all end all of paramotor headsets. But they had some problems in the first batch. So instead of selling for $550, this one was available uh, as a blowout deal to clear room for the fixed and repaired models at $99, which is what I bought. There were quite a few people who experienced failures or um, defects that were not immediately addressable. And as of the publishing of this video, the uh, second version of the PPG Smoke headset is currently in production and is scheduled to be sent out to those who were affected by the original defects. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen, but that's the roadmap at the moment. However, I got lucky. My PPG Smoke headset, even at $99, has the full feature set. So I have a review for you today, mounted onto the Air Extreme Freecom helmet. Very nice looking helmet. It's got a visor and everything. It's, it's cool, all right? So PPG Smoke headset, Air Extreme Free Aircom helmet, and uh, here's what I thought after my second flight with this setup. Okay. Here we go. before. I gotta go high so I don't piss off any hunters. Because it's hunting season. I can see a truck in this field right next to me. Alright, so let's talk about the helmet first. I guess this is a two-part review because I got this helmet for this headset. Um, yeah, I don't know. Overall, I would not fly with a visor. This doesn't come all the way down to my nose, but uh, even when I force it, the air is actually coming up under the visor and just really drying my eyes out. So unfortunately, my helmet cam is gonna look kind of crabby. Uh, I do like the ease of mounting. The, the holes were pretty drilled in the helmet shell. So I didn't have to do any drilling for that. They were already there. Just slap the nuts on the other side, slide the liner back in. That was pretty easy. The visor is removable, so I'll probably remove it now that I know I don't like it. I just also don't fly with sunglasses because I wear regular glasses, so I wanted to have something for the sun, but this ain't it. The chin strap, I don't really like it. It's, uh, it's too far forward and it's actually stitched in to the loops under the ears. So I can't move it back. It, it keeps like, there it is. That's in front of my mouth. You know, you can't keep it back. Uh, other than that, it is actually flight rated. So it does make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. And my last gripe really is the, uh, the ridge down the middle of it. I don't know if it's uh, to look good or if it serves any kind of purpose but it totally negates any kind of camera mounting you might think of, which sucks, you know, for me, wanting to mount a camera and all. So my camera's way, 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 way 
up here. <laughs> it's really far back. I don't know if I got the angle right or not. Let's see. Nope, it's pointing at the sky. All right. Hopefully that's a little better. So yeah, I ground down the, I took a dribble and I, I ground that uh, that little section down flat to contour with the rest of the helmet to use a normal GoPro sticky mount. I didn't go all the way through it, so it's fine. Just like, if, if that's just a, if that's just a artistic style choice, I don't like it. Otherwise, the color is great. The build quality is excellent. The fit is really nice. Not the best choice if you know you're going to run a camera on it. And I may have to cut some stitching to let this chin strap slide back, but other than that, I do like the helmet. I'll keep it. All right, so what about the headset? So initially, I thought that my left headset active noise canceling was malfunctioning, but now I'm not so sure. I just turned my headset off mid-flight to see if the uh, noise increases or decreases for the left and right earmuffs. I get a little bit of wind noise on my left ear. It definitely got louder overall. So I do have a headset with active noise cancellation on both sides. Remember, this headset had a, uh, had a few malfunctions. Some people didn't have mics that worked. Some people didn't have ear cups that worked. Some people had ANC or Bluetooth connectivity problems. It looks like I got a Goldilocks. Looks like everything's sorted out on mine. So uh, I can talk about it in, in earnest. It's good. It's really good. So this headset, normally ran for $500 and some change. And uh, that's steep, but when you consider a Cena helmet that also connects to a radio and a Bluetooth device where you need to buy the Cena adapter. It's uh, it's close in price. That was really my big hesitation for not buying it myself, but it, it is it is very close in actual price. And the audio quality is really good. I don't like side tone. I can hear myself as I talk, but I, it, it's not delayed like it is on my Cena helmet because it's not running through Bluetooth. So I'll accept that. I'm not sure what the audio quality will sound like on the GoPro. I know it's recording, but this is the first time I've tried it with the GoPro in flight. But hearing wise, over the radio or listening to music, the audio quality is fantastic. It's very good audio quality. You can be the judge on microphone quality. It's unique in that the microphone is the same. Been flying for 10 minutes. I don't know if you can Your hear that. Your current altitude is near 1600 feet, about 1000 feet above ground. The wind is coming from the north. You're 10 o'clock at seven miles per hour. This is Gaggle, by the way. Takeoff is about four minutes away towards your four o'clock. You've never flown with Gaggle, that's what it sounds like. Every few minutes, it'll tell you where you are, how high you are, how you're doing. Whew. If you could hear that, I don't know if it's a feature or a bug. If any other owners out there have tried it, drop a comment down below. Let me know if that's a feature or a bug. Anyways, listening to it, audio quality is stellar. It's better than my Cena. Even when I don't use the Bluetooth adapter, just pipe sound straight to it. The audio quality is very good. Microphone quality, you can be the judge of that. You've listened to me rant about it for a while. And then it's also got these buttons on the side. Now I'm not a huge fan of them in flight. It's kind of hard to tell which is which. And uh, volume up, volume down, seek forward, seek back are backwards. So volume up and seek forward are towards the rear. They're, they're not very easy to find with just bare hands. I can't imagine trying to find it with gloves. It can't be easy. As for the noise quality, the ear cups are nice. They seal well. 
I don't have gel ear cups on my Cena helmet. And these, with gel ear cups, are much better, even with the active noise cancelling off. So yes, gel ear cups are a good thing. If you are on the fence about it, they're good. Build quality, also very good. I'm very impressed with the high quality uh, d design and construction. It seems very well thought out, very sleek package, single cable in between the two. As far as the mounting goes, I don't like the, the mounts that I got with it. They are, uh, they are effectively the same as the 3M Peltor hard hat mounts, but the plastic on them seems lower quality. They, they're already showing signs of wear. They don't flex out as far. They don't clamp down as early, so the, the force isn't as high, I feel. But that could be the helmet, too. Radio? Radio's good. I have tried it. It does work. I'm on 1229 out here, but I can't find the button easily. It's not very easy to find. It's it's depressed and right in the middle, but I kind of have to slide my finger around to actually track it down. There it is. I don't I don't really like the microphone up here on the on the ear cup. That's just a personal thing because as I move, it actually changes distance. So this is about an inch, and this is touching my lips when I when I go back and forth. It moves the whole microphone, but. The build quality on the mic itself is, is good, so I'm happy with it. I can't play any of my music for you because I'll get copyright struck. But if you were able to hear any of the gaggle prompts, it's crystal clear. Much better than any other headset that I've used. Even hardwired, it's better than that, and I'm very surprised. Phone call quality, equally as good. I haven't made a phone call in the air though. Let's try that. Calling my dad. Hello. Hey, Dad. What's how's, up? how's it going? Pretty well, thanks. All right. I'm flying right now. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, real loud and clear. Really? He says yeah. it's loud and clear. You're on YouTube, by the way, and I'm not sure if they can hear you or not. But uh, I'm trying out a new headset that I put together and right. giving it a review. Okay. Where are you right now? I'm in Boxville. And I'm about a uh, thousand feet up. That's kind of breezy, isn't that today? Yeah, it's a little bumpy. Yeah, really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm looking out. Yeah, it's just about sunset, isn't it? Yeah, just about. Actually, okay. sunset was five minutes ago, so I think okay. we'll go land. All right, take it easy. See you later. Bye. 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 So, it passes the phone call test. Again? Not sure if you can hear that or not. And if you can, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. But the phone call was very clear. A little quiet on my end, but I can hear him fine over the motor noise. And he can hear me. He said it sounded like I was in a car. And in the event that you can, in fact, hear through this headset, and that's a feature, not a bug, here's what a normal radio sounds like. Highs in the lower 60s lows in the mid 30s wednesday through thursday partly cloudy this is the weather highs channel. in the lower 60s We're an aviation radio. lows in the upper 30s the forecast for the mountains including sparta for tonight mostly cloudy rain likely after midnight lows in the mid 40s north winds 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles Is that a downwind landing? I can't tell. So, a really quick unboxing. It comes in this very nice PPG Smoke headset box. It's uh, 
very premium feeling and the box itself has separated perfectly shaped portions for the ear cups and the wiring. It comes with a USB charging cable and the microphone which originally comes detached. Um, and all that's in the box and that's about it. So a very nice uh, box, very premium feel, nice foam padding, but that's the only thing that comes in the box, which is not a lot. Um, you'll notice missing from this is, for example, an instruction manual. So I've taken it upon myself to press every single button I possibly could to come up with a quick instruction manual here for you. So really quick on the right earmuff here, which has most of the functions, we have a power button. If you press that for three seconds, it will turn on and off. If you hold it for any longer than that, you'll get a message saying pairing, which will pair to a Bluetooth device, be it a phone or a radio. And interestingly enough, if you turn it on and no devices are found, it will eventually enter auto pairing. Now, when you first plug in your headset to charge, that's over on the left ear cup. There's a small light that will turn red while charging and green when done. The power button actually has prompts. You'll hear power on and power off. The volume buttons are a bit tricky. They're reversed. So volume up is towards the back of the headset and volume down is towards the front of the headset. If you press and hold volume up, you'll get seek or track next and volume down will get seek or track previous. The play pause button in between the volume buttons does a bunch of different things actually. You tap it once to, of course, play and pause your music if you're listening to any. If you receive a phone call, tap the button to answer the phone call, and during the phone call when you want to hang up, you tap again to hang up. If you're receiving a phone call and you don't want to answer it, press and hold to deny the call. And when not actively in a call, double tap will redial your last phone call. The included boom mic is directional. If you take the foam off, you'll notice there are two microphones on the outside of the mic and a flat section on the inside of the mic. This flat section needs to be facing towards your mouth to pick up correct audio and also execute all the functions needed for active noise canceling. The audio output outputs all of the audio. I found that out while I was flying. This audio output to your GoPro or other recording device will record every single bit of audio you receive. Email alerts or gaggle notifications or the music you're listening to or radio calls while you're in the air. Audio output gets them all in addition to the microphone. So while you're talking, if you're using this headset for vlogging, it will record everything that you hear in your ear and that you say out loud. And a final interesting feature I realized if you press and hold volume up and volume down simultaneously for five seconds, it's either a reset or a disconnection of your Bluetooth device. I'm not sure which. But when I press and hold both of these buttons, I get a disconnection and then it starts searching for a new Bluetooth device. So I'm not sure if that's a reset or just a disconnect feature. Uh, a few notes, my GoPro mount at the top of the helmet instead of near the front meant that the included cable was not nearly long enough, so I had to use my own cable. Not really a deal breaker for me. I don't like the buttons. They're very low profile, and I have a hard time finding them with bare hands while flying. I can't imagine trying to find them with gloves. That goes for the audio buttons on the right ear cup, as well as the push to talk button on the left ear cup. It's very recessed and doesn't stick out very well. The headset does record all audio received or spoken during the flight. And I'm not sure that I like that. Um, I could see it useful in some circumstances where I wanted to record, say, a video about gaggle, which is coming up. I know I say that a lot, but it's coming, I promise. But other times I wouldn't want it to record all of my audio. Like if I'm listening to music during a flight, I can't include that in a YouTube video. So uh, I would appreciate an option to turn it off. And as far as I know, for all the fiddling that I've done, I have not found any toggle that allows all audio output to the GoPro 
to be turned off or on. It's everything, all the time. Battery quality, very good. Several hours. I tested it at work and it lasted more than a normal eight hour workday for me while playing music basically all day long. So I'm pretty happy with the, with the battery life on this guy. So, PPG smoke headset. Would I buy again? Yes. And I'm actually looking forward to the PPG Smoke Headset Pro model, which supports two radios plus a Bluetooth device. That's basically what I run on my Sina radio headset at the moment, and it's pretty pricey to get two radios and Bluetooth all working through one set of speakers. So when that comes out, I will be very interested in buying it. The gel ear cups are nice. The active noise canceling on my model does work. And overall, the headset is just a very high quality. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with my purchase. And the audio that comes out of this thing while you're flying is amazing. It's the best sound quality I've had on any flyable headset. I wish the buttons were a little clearer, especially to bare fingers or fingers with gloves as winter approaches. But if I was building a helmet from scratch for a first time, and I wanted radio plus Bluetooth connectivity for the $550 asking price, yes, I would buy this PPG Smoke headset again. The Air Extreme helmet is, uh, well, it's nice. I don't like the visor. I'll take that off and I need to adjust where my chin strap goes. It's too far forward. Other than that, it's a premium helmet and the PPG Smoke headset is a premium headset. So I will be keeping this I won't be giving it away, unfortunately. Thank you for checking out today's video. If you liked it, or if you learned anything, the like button's down there and you know where it is. Leave a comment down below if you have questions or comments on my overall production or how your PPG Smoke headset is acting. I'd like to know if there are any features that I've missed. And of course, the subscribe button. It's free. You can just press it down there. That's okay. Until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I hate this visor. I need to take the visor off. I don't like it.